welcome back I've done a couple of little bits and pieces off camera like I quite often do so I put all the hoses on um, for the radiators and ran into a couple of small issues nothing major um, I think there was one that was the wrong size which was being sent out to me um, but I think I mentioned that in the previous video and then um, I put the clutch cable in and I couldn't remember the correct routing for it um, and I looked online and it seems that everyone's got their own opinions of the routing but it's not in the climber manual it's not in the owner's handbook so I looked online and again found different variations of how the route is so I thought well let's have a look and see if I can see it in the earlier video I know I didn't make a thing of taking it off but it's just whether or not I can see the routing while I'm talking about that or something else anyway I did that still couldn't find the routing so I've gone for what appears to be there you go so you can see now the um, it doesn't it does look quite a lot different just with the tank back on but let's take it back off for a minute Make sure I put it down without putting it on the pet cock. But that will clean up fine, I know that. So you can go back up there for a minute. Now just move you around a little bit. So there you can see the hoses are all in. Um, these hoses pair either side, went on a piece of piss. Um, slightly more difficult to get them over the um, the radiator fittings because they've got quite a large lip around the edge. But warmed them up, they went on fine. The most difficult one was this little link pipe because it's a bit fatter than the one that was in there originally. And although I've got a little bit of movement in there, I don't think there's quite so much as there was previously. And then, then we've got the throttle cable, the clutch cable. Can you see that? Yeah. Throttle cable, clutch cable, and the um, the rest of the wiring for the cutout switch. Let's turn you round again. So this is going to be the next session. Um, just putting the angle bars back on, and. Still doing little bits of cleaning that I suddenly find as I go through. So we've got a nice pair of gold rent tools there. We can sit down there for a the minute. <coughs> Anybody want a frog in the throat? They can have mine for free because I've had the bastard for about a week now. I can't get rid of it. Uh, got new throttle assembly because the other one wasn't brilliant. It was okay, but not brilliant. So I thought, fuck it, we're doing what we're doing. We might as well do it all. Obviously new grips to go on. Grip glue. The cutout switch. And I did actually get new levers. Um, this is one of the old ones. And the underside isn't too bad. But I'm guessing it's gone over at, at some point. Because it's this is actually the better of the two. And I thought I could just respray it. But then these were cheap as chips. Okay, so time to put the bars in. Now, I've done, as I said just a minute ago, I've done the, uh, the stem bolt up, torqued that up. I think it was 120 newton metres. Uh, torqued up the bottoms of the clamps, so they're all good. And for the moment, I'm just going to let the cables dangle down the side. Because I'm still not 100% sure of the routing. And I think if I put the cables in now and then put the bars on, I might end up having to move the cables again. And I've already done them about three times. So I don't want to be doing that. I mean, once they get out from underneath the tank they're going to go in different directions anyway but I need to see which is going to work best
probably not going anywhere near the bars on it. I've got a funny feeling this anodizing is going to scratch fairly easily. Being it's gold, with silver underneath, that's going to stand out like a third bollock on a greyhound. Cardboard over the end, bit, just before it gets to that. There we go. even marked up as being for the Honda or the Kawasaki. <coughs> Always been a huge fan of rental bars. shaped already. <laughs> right, are these pinned? They're not. So, funny. I think it's going to be easier to get a bit of the copper slip down in the hole off of the the bolt, rather than trying to have copper slip over all the bolts while I'm trying to hold them and get them all lined up. Actually, let me correct myself. It's not copper slip. It's the aluminium. This is what happens when you mutter away to yourself. You don't, um, you don't keep a track of the time. Right, so you're going to go there, so you will probably go there, bum, 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 bum. So you're going a lot the other way then. There's going to be some ergonomic setup coming. Right. As you can see, I've managed to get it on. What a bastard! 
plastered. It's um, not going to need glue, I know that for a fact. Right, so. That's me throttle cable's got to go tud away. So I'll gloss the end of it for a minute. That's the one we're after. Now, I believe it goes through there and then up to there, which will kind of make it right. Seems really tight. If it comes up under there. No, that's definitely wrong. Can't see it going through there either. Let's pause you while I check the, the drawings again. I want to make sure I get this right. Okay, so I've done some more investigating, and the original routing that I had was right. Which it just seemed really tight. Okay, now I wonder if I've done that. I've only done it with my fingers. There we go. Knackered myself out doing the bloody grip. So the shot. So oh for fuck's sake. Jesus, it's going to be one of these days, isn't it? Maybe I should have just gone back in and started again tomorrow. This is ridiculous. Maybe you get them days and you think, should have stayed in bed. If I can do this up with my fingers, explain to me why I can't undo it with my fingers. Because I've not knackered that hand. So it comes underneath there. I should have done that the other way really, shouldn't I? Long time since I've done these. Oh, 
I'm hoping I'm not blocking too much of your view. Let's see if I can do it from this side. Um. That can't be right. Nice it can. Because I was being all nice and neat and tidy and cable tying the cables to the frame, it um, it wouldn't fit properly. Now that I've undone it, they're sitting in the wrong bloody place. Just sitting in the top loose. To get it to get to the bottom bit. Like that. That was why I couldn't get it to come out. It was just being a bastard. Right. Let's get another 10 mil. adjustment and seated properly roughly for now if you have to take any more out because I've got that roughly in the middle if I have to adjust any more I'll take some out of there so I've got that right so that should be okay now while I was off camera I looked at the brake hoses and to be honest, there's nothing wrong with them apart from the fact they just look crappy. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put them on. I've ordered some new braided hoses. Let's see if I can get the throttle assembly on that side. Fairly knackered. So, I don't know whether I should go indoors and have a coffee. I don't even know what the time is. Oh, 
that'd be why I'm knackered. It's 10 to midnight. So, we'll just get this out of here. And then I think we're going to call it a day for today for me. But for you guys, I should be back in a few seconds. I'm not going to go in until I've got this cow out of here. So, I had a couple of issues with the clutch um, off camera and it just totally seized up and I've ended up, I've had to take the clutch basket back out, check the ball bearing was in, in the right place, put it all back together, retorked it and it all seems fine. So I'm not 100% sure what the issue was. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe I'd over torqued the bolts for the springs for the clutch brakes so um, let's see if we can go about getting this throttle cable on then I can do the final routing on there that's still free that's good all right so what do we want for there Gonna be in the bloody way now, aren't we? Try to place the um, camera where I wouldn't be standing in the way, but you know how it is. Shit happens. Just gonna tighten this up on the bar a bit. I want to take it apart. So the issue that I've had on here, um, on, on the throttle side, is I got the cable and the tube assembly from different places. Both said they would fit this bike. Unfortunately, the cable came with an M10 adjuster. And it didn't have a slot in it like this one, which was a pain in the ass. So I ended up having to dremel it off so I can use the one that came with the throttle tube. Now I've got no. There we go. up to 10 minutes again. Oh yeah, there we are. That's it through, baby.
this bit did this to me the other night. It just seems to lock. Bastard. Sods so all that the um, 10 minutes was up. So let's get you in there. That's a lovely jubbly. On the lid. This is definitely crap quality and it ain't going to be staying on here for long, trust me. Well that looks a bit different doesn't it? So, when it cut out last time on me, um, and it was just, I think it was the 10 minutes up, um, can't remember, but I was so close to getting the cable in there that I wasn't going to stop. Anyway, I've done it as you can see and it's all lovely jubbly. The actual throttle assembly is a piece of shite and it's not going to be staying on here, but it'll do to get the bike up and running. And uh, I'll order another one, probably get a docket here or something like that. Um, I may even change this clutch cable because eBay specials supposed to fit, but not brilliant quality, so might update them. Um, if you're wondering why the front brake's not on, I've decided to get new braided hoses back and front. They are due to be delivered any day now, and when I looked at the calipers, they were okay, but I thought, well, if I'm putting new hoses on, I might as well spray the calipers up as well. So um, I ordered what should have been an aerosol of black, and it turned out to be something totally bloody different. It was uh, a tin of braking clutch cleaner with a little tiny tin of paint and a brush. So that's going back. Um, what else have I done? So, while the camera was off and I've got that bit finished, I've put the grip on that side uh, and I've put on the cutout switch, tidied the cables up as they run down the side of the frame, put the front number plate on just to see what it looked like. Now, obviously, when the bike's got its front wheel in, it's going to be sort of there ish, so I've kind of set the handlebars up. From this angle they look like the left side is slightly lower so I'm hoping they're not bent but um, until I can actually get the bike where I can get hold of it properly we're a bit stuck. Um, I'm also kind of tempted now that I've put the cutout switch on to actually move it between the there and there. I'm kind of split because at one stage I used to have it over this side of the brake lever so that I couldn't hit it accidentally 
and then I've changed my mind and I put it over this side so that if I did need to cut it off I could cut it off. But, um, I don't know. I think it's just the way that I'm looking at it. It looks like this side is slightly further forward but I think the whole thing is twisted slightly and it's not sitting straight on the stand for a start. Which caused me an issue when I was trying to get the sub frame on because I got it all level or as level as I, as I could get it and I put the sub frame on and it was way out and I thought oh shit sub frame's twisted but it wasn't. Um, what happened is it had moved slightly on the box and when I put the spirit level across the swing arm I noticed that the bubble was halfway across the line so I just made it halfway across the line and everything and it's all square and straight and level and time will tell when I get the wheels back on. Um, got decals to go on there, can't make up my mind whether to take that off to put the decal on or try it on there but um, we'll see. We're going for the conventional green background um, because in the day I'm not sure what it is now. I think it might be white now for 250s. If you can get a 250, then you get a four stroke 250 anyway. Um, but yeah, it used to be a green background. Um, I think it was blue for 125s, if I remember rightly, and yellow for open class. So, yes, it's beginning to take shape. Um, I don't want to get too many of the plastics on until I've got everything done the next bit of plastics to will probably be the tank which is sitting over there but I need to polish that because that's original color wise it's not too bad but it's obviously not clean and shiny like these but I'll um I'll get the mop out and give it a mop see if I can get it to shine a bit better and then hopefully the wheels will be back this week then I can get the tyres put on, get the wheels in, get the last of the plastics on. I was going to do the air filter, but um, I'm running out of washing up liquid indoors to wash my hands afterwards. So normal soap does not want to get that air filter oil off my hands. So that's all you're going to get for the moment. This video's ended. I'll just stick my head in here. Hello! <laughs> uh, yeah. This is going to be the end of this video and hopefully the next one will be probably the tank being polished up and going on. I um, can't remember if I told you there was an issue with the clutch um, and I think what it was was the spring bolts were too tight and it wouldn't allow the clutch plates to move um, and when I clicked the lever it was just like rock solid but um, now it's lovely it's a little bit tight it might just be that I've got it clamped tight there but it's not a lot it's um, it's obviously all brand new and all it, although the clutch plates were lubricated when they went in I still haven't put any engine oil in it so maybe that'll be the next thing I'll do as well put some engine oil in and what else oh coolant yeah that would help wouldn't it and then go from there. Right. Catch you on the next one. Bye.